We're introducing a new feature in 2.7 and 10.9 to allow users to update multiple fields in attribute rules in the same feature or row. This was a very highly requested feature uh, because today the user, if they want to update multiple fields in a given class, in a given feature, everyone has to create multiple attribute rules for each field. You assign that rule to that field and then you write your script. This obviously you not only you have to duplicate your script, but you, get, you had to take the hit of execution, which slows down the throughput of editing. This dictionary format is going to solve that and going to make uh, attribute rules obviously more efficient. So let's go through it. So the return for the, for the longest time, what we used to do is like, okay, return seven, a value or return a string, right? So this is called a scalar. We return a value. But if you return a dictionary other than a DML, we will actually look at the result type. And if the result type is a dictionary, you can now use the same DML, um, I guess, grammar or syntax to specify the current feature that you're updating. So I want to update my dollar sign feature attributes field one to this value, field two to this value. And yeah, you can also update the geometry of your feature with a single attribute rule. How about we jump into it and show some examples there. So here is a classic example where I have a poll and a utility data, and I need to update three fields for this poll, the height, the class, and the type. And I'm using a table called compatible unit in order to pull this information based on a code that is available in my feature. So today in 2.6, to, you know, in order to perform this, you have to create three rules, one assigned to the height, one assigned to the class, one assigned to the type. These are the three fields you, you want to create. And you have to duplicate that code for every single one of them. And the code looks like this. And this is just my code that I wrote. We're going to do a feature set by name to the compatible unit table, pull it, do the query, execute the cursor, get the value, and then return the height in this case, right? And then do the same exact thing, just change one line of code. That's terribly annoying if you think about it, right? If you have a lot of fields, right? I'm, I'm duplicating my code. So look at the new format now. I have one rule to update height, class, and type. And look at the code. It's more compact. I execute my cursor to query the compatible unit once, and I get a result. And as a result, I build my dictionary, and I say, hey, my result is actually an object, a dictionary. And here's my attribute. I want to up update the height, the class, and the type. And the moment you do that, we're going to update all the values, all the fields in your feature that currently editing, whether this is insert, update, or delete.